NMN quote unquote ban attempt or preliminary ban is about money. It's, it's about classification. Who can sell? You don't believe it's about money? Oh, no, no, it's about safety. No, it's about making it a drug. No, it's about money because whoever gets to sell it makes money because it's a $100 million product right now and growing. Hey folks, I'm Marcel, back again with The Pulse. And this, I would say you won't believe it, but you guys have seen so much uh, regarding uh, FDA and NMN and this whole supplement versus drug industry story that you're gonna believe it. But man, oh man, I went on a website search today and decided to look up the latest information that comes up on a regular Google search, uh, looking up NMN ban or NMN ban in the US. And I found numerous websites with false information. None more egregious than the one I'm gonna highlight today, which was spts.org, but many pages of false information news websites uh, you know accordingly like health websites with false information about the ban either exaggerating the ban or getting the reasons for a ban which is not existent like i don't even believe there is a ban but nmn is still being sold as it is at do not age they just lowered the price this week i mentioned in my last videos um you can use my code the polls support my efforts here uh, for doing this stuff here at the channel, you can also save 10% using the code in addition to the price reduction. So, but what am I uncovering, right? And what I'm reminded of here, there's so much false information that it reminded me of what I'm supposed to be doing or what I'm trying to do by posting videos with accurate information or at least honest information about NMN. Like, you may not agree with me, you may not believe me, but these are my honest uh, experiences taking NMN and those of my family and those of my friends and now over 10,000 uh, viewers taking NMN and reporting at an 80% uh, positivity uh, response rate, which is amazing. By the way, I don't think Metro Biotech would be fighting for NMN the way they are, and writing letters to the FDA and responding to the citizen petition uh, the way they are if there wasn't some efficacy, if there wasn't some purpose. As a matter of fact, they would FDA wouldn't be moving this on behalf of the drug industry, if it couldn't ultimately, if they didn't feel there was enough evidence that you could use it to treat disease, right? That's the whole thing about disease claims. The drug industry can make disease claims, supplement industry cannot. So if they're gonna make it a drug, it should, it should meet a higher threshold than a supplement. You know, the, our argument is should supplements be allowed that are already in the food supply. So you're just, you're not getting enough of it from food. Now this article on spts.org states that, like they get just enough right here to be indexed and show up in search. And then they got a ton of stuff way, way wrong. Uh, but they did talk about it, you know, being in food and they did say what you don't get enough. They're saying that the ban is due to lack of safety data, nowhere has the FDA said that the NMN lacks safety data. Multiple safety tests, GRASS certifications, have been conducted by outside companies. Safety clinical data is abundant when it comes to NMN. As David Sinclair, he and I have our differences, right? I'm grateful for him to pointing out, pointing us all to NMN, but I'm also grateful for the fact that he said on numerous occasions, NMN is safe from every study he's seen. NMN is completely safe. And matter of fact, more than safe, it, it shows a lot of health benefits. So what does this web story by a doctor, uh, written by Dr. David G. Keeley? I don't know if it's a real person. I don't know if this is a real website. I don't know if this is AI generated. They get so much stuff wrong. What did they get wrong? The history of NMN is all wrong here. They're saying it dates back to 2015, which would clearly make it in the food supply prior to Metro Biotech's even existence but they, conf they confuse it with a battle for Elysium with Chromadex for NR back around then. So I think they're conflating their information from NR and NMN in this story. So they get that all wrong. Elysium wasn't an early player, to my knowledge, of NMN. They battled 
Chrome Index for NR, now they currently have hedged their bets. So if you go up to Elysium now, you are seeing NMN products, but they, they try to sort of bury it a little bit so they don't, they're not too obvious about it, but they do sell products that include NMN. So they get the history wrong. That what they really got wrong, the most egregious thing, the thing I cannot believe they got this so wrong, was the involvement of Natural Products Association. What they say here is that the, the Natural Products Association asked FDA uh, to remove NMN from the market, that citizens petitioned to have NMN removed for safety reasons. Like, this is totally patently false information. Matter of fact, I'm going to send this information. I wanted to post about it anyway because it goes deeper than just Dan Fabricant and NPA. But I think NPA gets wind of this. Like, they have their own legal team on staff. So SPTS.org and Dr. Keeley, I can almost uh, guarantee, are going to be hearing from legal representatives for NPA soon because they totally got this completely false. It's misrepresented as bad as you can. They said that, um, you know, that they asked the FDA to remove NMN as a dietary supplement. That's not what triggered this letter from FDA. And again, to recap, the initial letter a year and a half ago from FDA said it does not meet the definition. That's already old news, and that is not covered here in this article as well. By the way, this article was just last week. It was January 5th. Like, this was just posted last week. And they're totally wrong. And that this last summer, as I said, FDA rephrased their verbiage on their recent letter and said it may not meet the definition. And that is a big, significant change here. Yet this website gets it wrong. They get it wrong. They get so many things wrong. They got the, the history of NMN wrong. They got NPA's involvement in this battle completely wrong, reversed. Um, they got Dan Fabricant's involvement completely wrong. They got the FDA's involvement, what triggered this letter about NMN, completely wrong. They got the safety uh, side of this completely wrong, totally wrong. Um, the reasoning for the ban, as I said, the safety, that, that's not it, right? What they're trying to do is secure this for as an exclusive drug. This is about money. This is not about safety. The NMN, quote unquote, ban attempt or preliminary ban is about money. It's, it's about classification. Who can sell? You don't believe it's about money? Oh, no, no, it's about safety. No, it's about making it a drug. No, it's about money. Because whoever gets to sell it makes money because it's a $100 million product right now and growing. And potential for NMN, this should all speak to the potential. Who's behind this website? They also got it completely wrong that there's no evidence of effectiveness. Completely wrong because that is the whole argument that Metro was making to submit it as a drug. They wouldn't even do it if they didn't have clinical studies showing it's effective at fighting disease. This website, this take, and that's a take that's shared more widely on other websites. They talk about the FDA. They talk about safety. They talk about grass. They talk about effectiveness over and over. And this is all wrong. There is plenty of evidence. Matter of fact, all of the evidence shows that NMN is safe. And an abundance of evidence shows that it has efficacy, that it's effective at general health. You know, I mean, again, forget the anecdotal. If you want to, I mean, you guys watch because of my own transformation and you stay around because of your own transformations and the transformations of others. But if that's not enough efficacy, there's so much data on this that they're spending millions of dollars and FDA's drive to remove this is stunning. I'm going to give you another piece of the puzzle. Right? I, I've been reluctant to share this because there are backdoor meetings with lawyers and they're trying to get to the bottom of how much involvement FDA had with Amazon, Walmart, and YouTube removing NMN. You know, and YouTube removed the ads, okay? Amazon removed the products, Walmart removed the products. Did FDA, FDA, Carol Welch says, no, I didn't instruct them to do it. Yet, there is a database that feeds information to social media and to social e to e-commerce stores. This database blacklisted NMN. They also blacklisted NMN on a database for banks. So it's on a blacklist list 
for <laughs> a blacklist list for uh, banks, for e-commerce banks. So when I say e-commerce, it's the stores plus anyone charging money over for credit card. And then is flagged. So if you have a website and you're trying to conduct business in the U.S., you could have problems, and companies have that sold NMN. They've already had assets frozen, at least temporarily, and this is going on right now. And FDA says, well, we didn't do anything. That's all voluntary. No, that's not true. Through either by the act of writing your letter, which was then amended, you didn't go tell the blacklist website you amended your position last summer and that you postponed saying anything that you haven't responded as you're required to legally at the FDA to the citizen petition. The citizen petition, which is misrepresented on SPTS.org completely, has never been responded to, and they're required by law to respond. And so they ask for another 180 days or whatever their extension is. I, I'm, I'm guessing that it's an implied uh, another 100. So it's going to take a year to respond to uh, the citizens who you work for. You can't get off your tail and respond to a valid citizen petition signed by almost 100,000 people at this point, and the FDA can't respond to it. It's ludicrous. Who's behind the fake information? Who's behind NMN being removed uh, from multiple websites and being removed from ads and being blacklisted? Who caused all that? And if it's not the FDA, who did it under the guise of the FDA? In other words, they took the letter from the FDA and then said, hey, remove it. Is it another company? Is it an NR company? Who is it? Who's behind it? Because somebody is spreading not just a little false information. How could you get eight things wrong? on one small little web story. This is blatant disregard for the facts, for the truth. Is it a lie? You be the judge. Did David Kelly, is Dr. David Kelly lying? You be the judge. Because man, oh man, this I've never seen, in all of the time I've been involved with NMN, I've never seen a website get it so wrong. And it's not some vague website. Like it, it comes up in a valid uh, search for NMN ban. So anyone can have access to this information. And if they go read this, it's printed by a doctor. It must be real. Oh, it must be banned for safety reasons. Oh, it must be real. And a lot of people are getting that kind of information before they're getting real, true, and valid information. Buyer beware. Be careful. NMN is not banned. It's still available. And NMN is, the reasons for it are money, not safety. See you soon.